Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. I just harvest some fresh uh, cucumbers right here. And my pet pig is fighting for one. Give him a fresh cucumber right there. Look at him holding it down. <laughs> it's really smart. So I'm gonna go through guys, this is a vlog video. So basically I'm gonna go through and uh, give you guys some awesome tips and tricks and show you, mainly showing you how I'm harvesting and what's going on in my garden right now. And guys, if you're new, welcome to Green Tea Garden. We're all about growing a better garden together. If you wanna see more of my videos, check in the playlist and subscribe. It's 100% free and if you click the bell icon, every time I upload, you guys will get it right away and you join Green Tea Garden. And we're gonna be going and get some veggies. All right guys, so Green Tea Garden. Um, I did got rid of some plants, uh, lost some from squash bugs, fine borders, but uh, some of them are doing good. Tomorrow I should be getting my neem oil to help with the bugs, and I'll be wrapped. I'm starting to wrap these guys up with uh, foil paper. I'm gonna show you guys how to prevent them. And um, see, I'm trying to keep the garden clean so it's not attracting a lot of bugs or any. A lot of bugs are hiding and stuff like that. It's good to keep your garden clean from weed, dust, sand. See this a burned up, dried up leaf. You want to get that out of here, guys. So basically, now you can see as my plant grown up vertically right there. Within three days, right, you could literally see how it's growing out that, that way all up there. And you can see I have a bunch of female flowers coming up in male with a lot of fruit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to lose this one because I have the middle one here. And then I'm going to pull this back and then tie it up here. But before we do all that, you want to see we have a lot of leaves going on. So we're going to come here and we're going to cut this one clean out. Clean out. I like to keep pruning as we're going. And then right here, I just sharpened up my pruner. It's gold, guys. It's not rusty. Just in case. So um, right here, beautiful. Look at the little striped things that are going on. Beautiful zucchini, guys. So now I have a whole bunch of leaves there growing. So I'm going to tie it up later on. Uh, basically, it's going to rain. We got a lot of rain coming in right now. Maybe a thunderstorm. And you can see same thing here. Got a bunch of them. Look, one, two, three, four of them going to be coming in there. And then this one right here, we're going to come. This one got beat up a little bit. So this one right here looks a little beat up. I don't know what's going on with that. And we're going to move on so i got a different container my other containers them are filled up with veggies uh basically so that right there i want to show you guys my tomatoes coming up now if you look at my tomatoes right there the colors are already changing so it's going to change that's an acorn squash in the bottom over there i'll show you guys right there so i do have like this gypsy moth flying around eating out all my red tomatoes which i'm not a fan of oh and we got this one right here. This one is overgrown. Very tight spot, but so this is a massive one. Definitely overgrown. It's a little bit ripe, not that much. So we're gonna go ahead and put that weird shaped in one there. And same thing with the plants. And same thing with the plant. I'm gonna have to keep them, keep tying them up. As I you see that. It's growing up the word there so I'm gonna have to tie from above here so when you're growing vertically guys you could see sorry you, you could see right here I start wrapping it up with a uh, aluminum foil and this one right here so that's gonna help prevent I could take this one out so that was a uh, one I don't need that this one is already broken too so I'm gonna come right here and kind of cut so as you guys know I like to prune all right, so 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 guys basically my way you know I prune and I figure out you know growing it vertically upward it helps you guys you know some people you don't have to prune and you don't have to grow it vertically but you know because one year I did grow it ver uh, on the ground and I didn't prune it grow but it, it took a longer time for me to get harvest and my garden was a lot of mess and I I didn't harvest as much as I harvest every couple of days now and the problem is too I, I couldn't even water my plant so basically I couldn't even water my plant properly when everything was going on the ground uh, there was no space to walk and even pulling the water hose was a little tough so this right here step back and kind of show you this area here I didn't really like 
you know getting it to work or prune enough or do any kind of stuff i was just been like going through and harvest and i really didn't get the time to it so i had a bad plant over there i did harvest i think it was a one of those round zucchini i did harvest multiple times but then vine border got through it so i plant a bottle gourd and then look right here we have right there look at this guys beautiful right there so we're gonna come ahead right here and prune that out so my daughter just yelled and said daddy the rain is coming and i just felt it too so gonna have to speed this video up right here oh look at that right right there see that yellow spot right there that's to let you know it's getting ripe and it's starting ripe and if you waited if i waited like three more days it would have spread right through and it would have started getting overripe which could lead to rotten and you don't want to you know lose your veggies guys you know you work hard for growing your veggies and all that so and right over here i just want to show you guys real quick i do have another gourd swan gourd and i think this is a spaghetti squash right there might be wrong hopefully not right there i'm coming there bud now my son just came out too daddy's gonna rain yeah these guys are better than the weather forecast man i think so right here we have a golden zucchini so this is not a yellow squash guys this is a yellow squash over here and that one i still have like a gray zucchini right over there if you guys could see it and that's a bottle gold i just wanted to show you guys so this is the golden zucchini and this is the yellow squash this is a younger yellow squash i could have left this to grow a little bit more but you can see the difference the zucchini could be you know spotted you could get stripe stripes inside you could get like the you know the dark green which is the black beauty and you have the the golden one it's so many different type of zucchini and squash variety so this is back of my greenhouse which i really try to avoid not to come because there's so much stuff i have to do here but a uh, pumpkin plant and stuff but um i have to get in here guys sometimes you're just like lazy and you don't want to do stuff so i do have some pumpkin pumpkin and stuff running there already and this guy left a little too long right here so what i'm gonna do harvest that with the leaf and if you look right here my one fruit is dying here but um don't be scared don't be panicked oh two of them look i'm losing two of them so i'll cut that out and then what i'm gonna do guys i'll prune that off and i have see i have mul multiple leaf so i'm gonna come over here and get this bottom one i'm gonna come back and take care of all that so sometimes you lose some so sometimes you're gonna lose some of your uh fruit but it's all right just prune it out prune out some leaves and then basically what happened guys your plant will just start focusing on the new leaves and a new fruit so so sometimes guys when you see a, you have a rotten fruit or a rotten leaf especially a fruit uh it's sad but you know it, it's okay you know just cut it out cut out the leaves and let your plant push through more energy to the smaller one guys super sorry i had to cut the video a little short rain is coming down kids are waiting on me so just wanted to show you guys real quick and i did want to harvest because it's always good to harvest i told you guys so i got some cucumbers zucchini yellow squash and the golden zucchini is my favorite color looking one too it's beautiful but the stripes on this is amazing so guys always grateful always happy and blessed for whatever harvest i you know get from the garden i just want to say thanks again to everyone and thank you so much for watching green tea garden and i you know i had a, i had a harvest so i love showing you guys i'm harvesting and for everyone who supported me and believe in me and following me guys i do want to show you guys that you know i harvest for my garden whatever step i'm doing it, it works for me and i've been harvesting non-stop and i'm grateful and appreciated but um everybody grow their garden different and there's many ways to grow certain plants so everybody will have a different strategy or technique and sometimes if you find a good strategy that works for you stick with that don't even listen to me just stick with your stuff that works but if you have some of your your plant that's not growing or they're dying then you know you guys give my strategy a shot and uh, hopefully that will get the job done any question in the garden world guys uh feel free to ask i do love to, I do love to answer your question um and I do have a lot more plants coming up, pepper plants, corn plant. Uh, 
a bunch of stuff coming up in the small garden. If you guys want more, if you guys want more video, click in my playlist. I have a ton of videos and tips and tricks on growing a better garden. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching Green Tea Garden. I'll see you guys next time.